Good morning. Uh, today's reading is from Proverbs 11, verses 24 and 25. It says, Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. And God's economy is just... It's just different than ours. <clears throat> we tend to think that in order to have more, we need to keep more, save, hoard, mine, my precious. But, you know, God, in his economy, he tells us that uh, it doesn't work that way. He says give freely and you become wealthier. In fact, he specifically says that being stingy is a recipe for disaster. Be stingy and lose everything. <clears throat> now, does that mean that I should allow people to take advantage of me? Well, not necessarily. The Apostle Paul wrote, if anyone won't work, don't let him eat. We're all expected to make an effort. I don't need to enable someone else's financial irresponsibility. If they go out and buy a new car but can't make their, their rent payment, that doesn't mean that I should be paying their rent just because they are financially irresponsible. If they don't have enough food at home, but they spend $500 a month eating out, well, no, I'm not called to take care of that. However, there are plenty of people who are making a genuine effort, but for whatever reason, they're having a difficult time staying afloat. It could be unexpected medical issues, could be job loss, could just be that they're living basically paycheck to paycheck because the cost of living is so high in their area or um, the expenses that they incur is just difficult to make it on what they earn. Uh, could be any number of other problems that just cause a crisis and yeah I am called to help and it isn't necessarily just about money either am I stingy with my time my abilities my mercy and compassion remember it says the generous will prosper those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. That's God's economy. Pray with me. Lord, today, I pray that you would help me to be generous. Not just because I get something back. Not just because you give me this equation from your word. But because it reflects who I am. Whose I am. Lord, you've been so generous to us. You have given freely to us. And because you have given freely to us, help us to give because of whose we are. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. We'll do it again.